Hello, boy, we're on a roll here doing these uh, talking ash, talking cigars, smoking cigars. Look, cigar smoking season. There so you go. We're, we've been training. We're yeah. ready to go. It is. So what do you got today? I want to know why certain states have. Well, really, I meant then what are you smoking today? Oh, all right, all right. Let's start with what we're smoking. I'm smoking a Herrera Estelle Lee ah, Habano. Took that for me. You couldn't resist going well, back to it. Huh? Ah, you know. That happens all the time, doesn't it? It does. Where you see somebody else smoking, you're like, I really enjoy that stick. I, know, I forgot about that I haven't one. smoked that in a long time. I forgot about that I'm going to smoke right. it. So well, I'm going with the Ferry Otago Timeless. The real, uh, this is the nice robusto selection. size. But let me read, because I can never remember the description, because this is a fairly new release, even though it comes from an old release from a Nat Sherman blend from, I don't know, 10 years ago yeah. or so. So, I mean, the wrapper is real nice, oily. A little rough, though, you know, because a lot of times wrappers are, um, you know, real smooth and shiny, but it's a little rough. It started out real nice, this cigar, but it's um, made in the Dominican Republic with a wrapper, uh, Dominican wrapper and binder, and fillers from Nicaragua and the Dominican Republic. This is a five and three quarter by 54. But, but this is really, and this is the description, this is what we you know we've talked about this before on. You know some of the tasty notes and the flavors that some people put. So this is what that's I what this, they're saying. I not what you're tasting. Not what I'm saying. This, <laughs> is not, this is from Half Wheel, which is a great site. Yeah, I mean a lot of great information on there. You want to follow cigars and what's coming and going and what's happening. Uh, milk chocolate brown wrapper, sandpaper rough to the touch, but features very little visible oil. In addition, there are a number of prominent veins on the wrapper. Aromas from the wrapper are extremely restrained and relegated to generic notes of wood, earth, hay, barnyard, and a touch of sweetness. What the hell does barnyard taste like? <laughs> I was just going to ask you, have you ever had the inclination to taste any of those? No. Wood, wood <laughs> earth, hay, barnyard. Maybe sweetness. I like a little sweet cigar. Where are you going to find barnyard at? But what the frick does they barnyard have that at Weiss? <laughs> we'll ask them the next time. Look, really? Go to the grocery stores. Hey, where's your barnyard at? But anyway, I'm just smoking it. You know, I've smoked these before, mm -hmm. and it's been a little while. But this is really a nice, uh, a nice size. I like the size of 54 by five and three quarter. Uh, starts out real nice, and they say, according to their description, halfway through or so, it's going to pick up a little bit of steam and um, finish off nice. Little disclaimer there. Michael Herkelos is a great guy. No, right? yeah. This has nothing to do with Michael or his company. It's mm -hmm. just these people that are telling you that it tastes like barnyard. Yeah. Right? If I was a cigar maker... But no, I think they said that as a compliment. I take that that, that description as a compliment. <laughs> if I... Well, why would they write it? <laughs> I mean, let's they, just, this is let's, from a reputable no, site. The tasting guys that do this If I said weekly, you, you smell like barnyard today, is that a compliment? But in a cigar, it might be. <laughs> I but this know. ain't coming from no half no. half place. Half Wheel's a great site. I understand. Do a lot of reviews. I understand. And uh, I, I agree but no, and but again, back you know, Michael and Brendan were two great guys. Yeah. Been in the cigar industry a long time, and you know, started this company a few years ago and uh, putting out great product. We're working on a, We're working on a date to have them back in June. We yeah. had a great event with them in the fall. Yeah. Uh, I guess it was winter. Um, they want to come back. They want to, you know, meet and greet with the two principals of Ferry Otago, you know, and uh, you know, we really enjoy having that to offer to, uh, you know, our customers and, and our friends. And they have the blends in all their different lines for mild, medium, strong smokers, yeah. different sizes, so they cover all the bases. Yeah, definitely. But I just got a kick when I was reading halfway on making one. Got to try that cigar. Home. But here we are. Yeah, I don't taste barnyard. No, I don't even know what barnyard tastes uh, like. If I did taste it. Well, but I guess it's like, listen. if you would taste it, you're going to say, oh, that's Maybe barnyard. we need to seek that out, figure out what that is. Maybe go on a road trip. We'll Where are you going to figure that out? You're going to old barn. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to smoke my Herrera Esteli Habano yeah. and enjoy it. Yeah. Nice, creamy cigar. Yeah. You know? You know what really bites my ass? <laughs> And you do too, I think. We like going to the casino once in a while. You know, we were just in Vegas a little while ago for the TPE conference. Yeah, the difficulty in winning. And well, like they said, if you have a gambling problem everywhere, I don't have the gambling nope. problem. I have friggin' winning problems. 
That's what I keep telling them. The gambling's not the issue. It's the winning. But anyway, what gets me, now like, you know, Pennsylvania around us, we have a lot of casinos that we can go to. But it gets me and it really, really chews on me that they'll allow cigarette smoking, but not cigar smoking. And in I have no problem. In Pennsylvania. In Pennsylvania. But I have no problem. Anybody that smokes cigarettes, pipe, free country, you do whatever. Absolutely. Whatever you want to do. If you yeah. enjoy it, you do it. But why is cigar smoking any different than any cigarette different? smoking? That gets me. But then we go to Las Vegas, like for that conference, and you can smoke anywhere. cigars, cigarettes, yeah. pipes, at the table, blackjack, poker table. Yeah. They have a smoking section, non smoking section. I mean, that that's kind of like where we're at, you know, these days with different states and different levels of whether it's taxation or whether it's laws where you could smoke here but you have to have this, you can't smoke here but you need to do this. I mean every state is different, yeah, right? Absolutely. I mean and I think that's part of our duties to kind of keep an eye on what's going on across all the other states in the in, in the US, you know, before they start taking the rights away from us here in Pennsylvania because yeah. I they it's are they, trying to do that as right. we speak. But you, you gotta know. band together and fight against any of these things, you know, because they're just taking our, our free will and rights away if you wanna sit anywhere and smoke, you know. And, like, and what happens is, you know, people are aware of it, but they, they do they, nothing about they it. They do nothing about it. It's not gonna happen to us. It's not gonna happen. And then before you know it, you don't have that cigar bar to go to. You can't smoke a cigar at your local cigar but store the, in their lounge. Or they put such a tax on it that it's not as affordable anymore because you're paying these absorbent uh, tax rates on something you enjoy yeah. with it. So you I think really that's, be aware everybody's of. just got to be a little bit aware of what's going on and uh, you know a lot of great information on the PCA website, the CRA but no, wait, website. But everybody should join the CRA. Cigar yeah. Rights of America, I don't know, what is it 25 bucks a year and they send you a couple cigars with it? But what they do, they're like, uh, they hire lobbyists and all to keep track of these and to fight it. But, you know, all that costs money and time, and they have their own staff. But everybody should definitely be a member of the CRA for the little bit of cost and get, you know, thousands and thousands and get of united, people together. You know, get the numbers, you know, where, where we can show support. And, and yeah. also, by, by joining the CRA, you're going to be notified, you know, daily on what kind of legislation is being proposed and acted upon. On the cigar industry. On the cigar industry, yeah. yeah. It's all in one place. So all in one place. But that's a really good thing. But that's what really gets me when you go to places like that. Had some different laws now. Like uh, you know, I just I forget who I was speaking to a few weeks ago, and they said California is trying to propose or put something kind of law like if you're born after I don't know if it was 2006, seven or eight, mm -hmm. that you'll never be of age to buy tobacco. Correct. So even if you're 45 years old or 50 years old, you'll never be legal for you to purchase tobacco. Right. Which is going to kill, you know, the guy that wants to enjoy that. But how about all the businessmen that built their business up over all these years yeah. in the cigar industry sure. um, for a long time, and it pretty much puts them out of business right off. So something to be aware of, something to keep in mind, and uh, you know, something we don't want to be caught, you know, by surprise on. It's it's a pretty exactly. serious issue, and yeah. just something to be aware of. And we'll leave you with that because I don't want to talk about it no more. But get myself all worked up. Nope, I'm going to go figure out what barnyard is. And we'll figure that out too. We'll, we'll update everyone. Or if you guys have any ideas what barnyard might be, feel please, free. Please let us feel know. Feel free. All right. Till next time.